All right, y'all. So it seems like this guy has some type of vendetta against the Brett community, man. It's going crazy. Let me know what you all think. What side are you on? Are you on the side of Brett or are you on the side of um, this guy who's basically exposing everything? Now, <clears throat> listen, I'm going to tell you all my perspective and where I'm standing. Um, personally, I feel like I don't take these type of investments that serious where it's this is all just a gamble to me in the first place. It's like everything in this crypto space, everything in life is a risk, bro. So it, it comes with risk. So I don't care who's trying to scam at the top. I don't care who but I'm trying to get in at the right time and hopefully get out before something rug or something like that. Like that, that's my mindset going into it. It's like I'm trying to, you know, hit some, hit some specific targets. And once I hit that, I'm taking my money out like. I'm not investing in the meme coin like, oh, I'm going to hold this to forever as if this is Amazon. Like, no, it's, it's that's not what it is with me anyway. It's like, and then I'm not going to over invest either. I'm not putting my rent money into this project or nothing like that. So this isn't something where if it comes crashing down, my life is ruined. And hopefully no one is investing into stuff like this, into meme coins to a point where you could actually really hurt yourself because that that's just, it's not, it's, it's too much pressure on this type of stuff being successful like everything in life is a risk bro it's a risk investing in crypto it's a risk investing in meme coins but you know what i know the bigger risk if you don't do it it's a risk that the the government and everything's just gonna take your money like the the, the financial system is gonna crash and then what like what's gonna happen once we have to start transferring over to using crypto and things like that and if you don't even know that this is the real use case for crypto and why it exists because the financial system is failing and you don't even know how the financial system works in the first place. It goes so, so deep, man. So stuff like this, stuff like this is really just, uh, you know, gambling. I'm gambling right now. I'd rather take a chance on this, get a little bit of money. If I lose it, it's cool. But if I make a lot of money, I am perfectly fine with that as well. Like that, that's the mindset with stuff like this. And then I have other cryptos where it's like, okay, this is a, real life-changing investment that could actually change the world if they get this technology to work and um yeah you have to be able to differentiate the two like there's nothing wrong with investing in meme coins but just make sure you're diversified and you're also invested in some nice blue chips some nice um small caps like you're just invested in some you're, you're very nicely diversified um we are in a point a period in time i used to believe i used because I, I got into invest in following warren buffett i used to believe that um you, you shouldn't have a bunch of stuff. You should just go all in as if you found Coca-Cola. But realistically, we are in a space that's that's just starting out that sees way more gains. So you can spread your money out a bunch of different places and still get a lot of gains from all of these different places. So it's no point. Like, I mean, and yeah, obviously, if you put your chips all in one basket, maybe you, you would be perfect. But that don't gamble on you being able to choose that right basket. Just make sure you... Do enough research into everything, spread your chips out, and and let the pieces fall where they may. I mean, that, that's just that's my perspective. That's how I look at it. But um, we're gonna jump into this. Let's see, let's see his his proof against them um, scamming. He's exposing them once again. So yeah, let's see. Let me know what you all think. All right, guys, I had to make this video real quick. The the main one's taking a bit longer than I thought. It's not gonna be too too long but i just want to make sure i have every single piece of evidence i need everything ready so i just had to get this one out quick because it's way too funny way too scary if you think about it but just this guy just fucks up by trying to come at me bad karma got him and he slipped up the secrets to let us know brett is a scam and he's full of shit so just watch this decide for yourself so the story is that crash only found out about brett three days into launch or something so let me pull this up this is for and down here wait, wait, wait. so i have bought in a little so far down here and down here uh obviously i want to have a public wallet that everyone can see for themselves so i have bought in a little so far down okay. here. uh obviously and it could Let's be buying and it could be buying this the last it's been out now for four days i found out about this yesterday and bought some okay and obviously i haven't so it's very clear when Crash said when he bought some, right? Definitely wasn't right on launch. A day or two after, anyone could have bought in. But if you see Crash's buy, the public one that everyone thinks is his biggest buy, it was $15,000. He held it, whatever. Marketing stunt, of course. 
but he's not that big of a hold. He's not even the number one holder. And if you actually go through this thread where I got this evidence. See, I want to have a. It's pretty damning if you look at it because he's got Crash's wallet on the whitelist here. And then he goes and proves that it's Crash's wallet. So if his wallet was on the whitelist, that means he knew about it way before he just told you on those tapes. But in case you had any more doubt, Rodney, he admits to being paid to shill Brett. Nothing wrong there. But watch how he fucking slips up huge. Because Crash only has, you know, that one wallet that's not even like a top five, right? He's not the biggest holder by any means. Or is he? You don't know exactly who is holding the majority of the tokens. You don't know. You don't know the person attached to it. But in Crash's case, you do know him. He has two large platforms on X and YouTube. And there's someone to go to in case he does something c catastrophic, right? There you go. So Crash is the majority holder. But if you track his first buy and those other buys he said he made, that would not make you the majority holder. And I'm pretty sure Rodney knows who the majority holder is because he got paid by Brett. So figure it out, guys. There's enough links. There's enough common sense. But just to, just to poke fun, because this is too funny. <clears throat> I mean, it definitely makes a lot of sense to me. I see see where he's going with this. Definitely see where he's going with this. But like I'm saying, like, I, I'm personally, I'm not in the whole, I'm not in the space for the whole theatrics. Like, for me, this is entertainment. This is definitely entertainment. I know, but, but some people, you all are, you might be in too deep to the point where you can't look at something like this as entertainment because you're so deep in, you're scared that something like this could blow your bags, you could lose it all and stuff. Like this is why you have to be careful how you invest, man. You have to be in enough to where you can see some good profits, but out enough to where if anything happens, it's like, damn, what's going on with this one, bro? Is this bag gonna really crash? Cause that's what it would be for me. Like, um, <clears throat> when my, if my projects go down and my projects start getting hit, it's like, dang, not that one. I really, I really thought that was the one. At least these 10 over there is good though, hopefully. You know, like at the point, like, see, at the point where I start getting pissed, that's where all 10 projects that I'm in drop like flies, 10, 15. At the point where we, we getting into high numbers, I'm like, bro, am I ass at this? Like, what am I doing? Like, but luckily, thankfully, that has never happened. So we, we gonna keep chugging along, doing some nice research and stuff like that. But yeah, man, um, it's a lot less stressful when you don't, you don't invest beyond your means, you know? Um, like just, you know, gamble what you can, bro. Gamble what you can. Don't get, don't fall in love and love with any project. It's great to be a part of a community. That's the, that's the fun. Like who's going to invest in something that's dead. Even if you're going to make a lot of money, like if there's nobody talking about it, you can't share memes and have a good time. Like what's the point of being a part of that? It's like, I mean, it's cool to just have it in the back pocket. Cause you know, you're going to make some money on it. Like Coca-Cola, you know, Coca-Cola had to be boring holding that all that time Warren Buffett did, bro. Like that, that's real, real investing, bro. Like that, that was boring, boring holding. What's, what's, what's going to be entertaining about Coca-Cola? <laughs> like, but now we living in a different age where we can have some fun and be a part of communities and, and the communities can make stuff lit, which is dope. How did no one catch this yet? So he's trying to, he's trying to prove himself before that video, right? He's trying to be like, I'm a detective. I once called out a scam called Saitama. Look at me, I'm so good. But he slips up very even because there's fucking, what's his name? Henok. If you need any more proof about the cabal, but what happens? What is? There's his fucking partner. Oh, Rodney, this is the guy you host spaces with. Everyone knows your friends. Like, how did you just fuck your friend like that? Showing that he was a scammer before. Oh, also, I told people Jake Gay Game was a scammer, but like, if you want more proof, Rodney's telling it for us, so. Is up, everybody, and good morning to the Wolfpack. Hey, how you doing? Good morning to the Wolfpack. <clears throat> Shout out my man's Jake, bro. I don't know nothing about him being a scammer or none of that stuff. Like, I think I think that a lot of these guys, like, it's like when you in a space like this, especially meme coins, it's a high probability of a lot of these things going to zero and, and not really being much and not really making it too far. So you making calls on something... Like you gotta talk about something. What you going like most people ain't finna do this like it's Bitcoin. So you're not finna get on here and talk about the exact same crypto every single day. Uh like freaking one only, like Dogecoin only. Like even Dogecoin Millionaire couldn't pull that one off. And, and Dogecoin is actually a, a really good one. Like, you know, so 
It's like you got to talk about a bunch of other stuff, and you're going to get some wrong if you're talking about a lot of them. But, I mean, who knows? Like, it could be some under-the-table stuff going on. I don't know. I'm not affiliated that, that strongly with nobody. I mean, I, I'm really not. But <clears throat> who knows, bro? Like, that's why I don't dig too deep into it. I just try to do my little research, stack my little bags away, and, you know, I don't got to care what y'all got going on. Maybe. So, yeah, there's the answer about Brett. There's the answer about a few more KOLs, but the next video, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to bring down 20 projects. I think it'll just happen on its own. But everything's about the CEXs right now, guys. Bybit especially, but it'll explain everything to you. You want to doubt me? I don't give a fuck. I'm putting this video out. I'm going to show you what my plans are next. I don't even plan to, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I just know this next video is the most important thing I can do for now. And, you know, it's already it's already close to being made. I've already sent it all out to a bunch of different people. So, it's going to get out there either way, no matter if they shut my accounts down, no matter what happens. And if you're worried about me, don't worry. I've seen this coming from a mile away. I've been telling people. When I went at Pink Sale, do you know how many fucking death threats I got? Do you know how much shit I caused? And everyone doubted me then until they figured it out on their own. So don't worry about me. My message will get out there. It'll explain to you guys how we can uh, completely rebuild this entire crypto game. <sighs> and sp spread the word. Do your freaking part. I mean, hopefully this guy stays safe. I mean, people will do a lot of crazy stuff for money, including... You know, put money on people's heads and stuff like that. So hopefully he stays safe. Um, I don't think it's this deep personally. Now, obviously, people are willing to do anything for money. But realistically, you just got to make sure everyone involved knows that everything comes with a risk. And you, when you invest in something, you are risking being scammed by people. You're risking certain things. So you have to look for green flags that lowers the probability of it being a scam. Like if you jump into a project and 81% is owned by the development team or the, the owners of the project, 81%, like that's information you should know. That's information you should know. And if you're still gonna jump in, you gotta, okay, 80, 80 is crazy, but I'ma still take this risk. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. Like you gotta come in with that mindset. And then if you end up getting screwed, you knew it could happen. So, yeah. But, yeah, there we have it, y'all. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.